Hi, it's Dr. Alex Popovich, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be talking about important concepts, settings, and hotkeys that you can use in Obsidian to make your Obsidian experience easier. So let's dive in. This is my Obsidian um, setup, and I have added a few more files since the last video. Uh, and in this file, this is your title. It has associated tags. So the tags are the hashtag, and then there is no space, and whatever you want to use as a tag. If you look here, on my right side of the screen, there is a tag plugin available here that I have authorized to use. So this is a really good concept to use to further be able to search or find or link your um, ideas and your writing. If you here see here in the purple, there is actually a link or backlink concept. Now, as soon as you have created this as a page, you start seeing that I have some linked mentions. These are the stuff that I've linked already, but there are some things that haven't been linked. So if I want to link it, there's going to be a purple area here and I can just click and link. If I want to see it, click and link. And it's very quick way to li link the previous articles that you might have not found or you haven't created the link yet. This is the two most important concepts in Obsidian or any personal knowledge management is this linking of your ideas, linking of your thoughts. Uh, so you can then figure out what is actually linked, what isn't, uh, and uh, create further knowledge or further ideas. As I have said in my previous uh, video, the um, Obsidian writes in a markdown. And the great thing about markdown is that you can store these files, those there is always going to be application that's able to open it. If you look at Word, if you want to import it into, uh, for example, website as a document, it goes a bit haywire. You can't just copy and paste into different way. Same if you use um, Notion, same as you use quite a the lot of other um, file option PDFs. If you write it in a markdown, it's always going to be the same. And there are a few things that are important to learn in a markdown. But all in all, it's much easier to use. And a great thing about it, you don't have anything up here to annoy you, to take your way of thoughts. There's no distractions. So the things about markdown that are important to know, I suppose, is how you use different headings. So if you put hashtag so hashtag and then a space now you've created a level one heading so the difference between a hashtag or a tag um, is that hash and then um, tag or the word that you need to use in as a tag doesn't have that space here it has to have it that's the only difference so the level two heading is two hashtags space Hello. Level three, three. And then if you, you, there are actually six levels, but the difference between kind of um, four and five is very uh, small. So you, you can almost not see any difference. So in all in all, it actually there are probably four levels that are useful. Occasionally, you might want to use italics, um, to, and italics are there to emphasize things, um, to make them stand out. So, if you want to use italics in Markdown, it's uh, um, asterisks and then um, I, and it's going to write it. If you look in a preview pane here, see, it doesn't have those asterisks. The other thing that you might want to use is bolding. So that's two asterisks and then a 
So now you can see that this is bolded. For the list, you can either just choose this symbol and then and it knows straight away that it's going to be a list. So you can either use this sign here or you can start numbering. So and it go, go like that. So it's actually very easy. And to be honest, when it comes to writing, you probably don't need much more than this. Later on, your editor or someone else can change it a bit, but all in all, it's very unlikely that you'll need more than this many different things in Markdown. So to be honest, that's not that difficult to, to remember. And if you always start writing like this, so Ulysses, uh, drafts, um, uh, Rome research, they're all right in Markdown. There are several types of Markdown as well, but they're all very similar. And these basic principles are really pretty much the same. So if we go back, so the things in your kind of a Markdown in a writing that are going to be important for creation of your notes are one, links, two, tags, three syntax in markdown especially lists bolding and italics and that's about it so that's around six things to make things easy for you when you're writing in markdown now there are some setting things that are going to make your life easier so if we go to editor this is not turned on I, English is my second language, so I like turning on the spell check because often I may misspell certain words. If we go to file, so for deleted files, you can figure out where you want these deleted files to go in Obsidian. I like to have them move to trash. So this is your system trash. So this is your computer trash, not any other place in um, Obsidian. And I like this because if I lose something, I know I need to go to trash. I have Hazel automatically emptying my trash. And the other reason is there is no other inbox or other thing that I need to check to empty. So I like this idea of deleting the files into a normal trash. The other thing is automatically update internal links, turn this on. It's not automatically turned on, but this is quite important because if you change a name of the note or hashtag, sorry, here, number two, it will automatically update it everywhere where you've used this link. Uh, if you turn this on, if you change the, the link, it will automatically update it everywhere rather than you having to manually update this. So I would definitely turn this on because this is the point of something like Obsidian or ROM research. And the other one is plugins. I have turned quite a lot of plugins in like Quick Switcher and I quite like using the Quick Switcher to search. Tags, so if you're going to use tags, you need to basically turn this on. Um, and page preview, if you wanna use that, you have to turn it on. If you want to use different templates, I would also recommend to turn this on. And also, if you're going to use Obsidian for your daily notes, then you can turn this area here. Now, hotkeys. If you want to be proficient with writing and making things quicker with writing, then um, you should uh, learn a few, basically, keyboard shortcuts. That's what hotkeys are keyboard shortcuts. So number one is making a new document. So it's command new. If you wanted to open it in a new window, it's basically, so if we have, let's say this one opened and you want to open another window, it's command shift in. There we go. So now you have two different things side by side. 
so it's very good for writing if you want to write and relate to things for example you have here where you basically doing some notes about the book you can write another note that's going to be uh, related possibly to these things but you can see whatever you've written here and whatever you've written in this area as well all these hotkeys I'm showing you how to use on Mac I'm not using Windows computer so I don't know the hotkeys for that if you wanted to go between the preview and the edit so this is the edit mode you can edit things here if you go to preview it's command E there we go so it's very quick to go between the two and uh, um, in the preview you can't edit see I can't write anything I can only create links so here I can see that this has been created as a new page but this one hasn't so this is where you can do it like I said before if you want to get out of the preview command E so obsidian hasn't been created if you want to create it in the edit mode you have to use command and then click there we go so either you have to open the new links so if you want to go and do it in edit mode you have to push command and then click if you're going to use it in preview it's just a click so command click and just a click so if you want to open the um, another document and you don't see it here to use it you can use a uh, quick switcher and do command O and now you can open or create a new document so switcher is really important so command O to open the switcher so if you want to go back to obsidian file the quick way of doing that instead of clicking and going backwards is command option and left arrow so left arrow I've gone back so going back if I want to go forward right arrow so command option left arrow command option right arrow much easier to do things if I want to close this note I go command W and it's closed uh, if I want to delete a paragraph it's command D so if you want to enlarge something command plus yeah it's making it much bigger easier to see if you don't want to go command minus open a link in the new pane or uh, option is basically get to it command click command click there we go it's opened it in the new pane so you found that command click if you go and do the switcher command O switcher if I want to do that let's see if it's going to work in a new click and open so even in a switcher command click works to open it in the new pane if you want to search something you can do it by command shift F command shift F it's a search option so there are different ways of searching so, so you can search tags and everything else so command F is for search so we haven't really used that many hotkeys I hope you have enjoyed this video on quick tips how to make your use of obsidian easier thank you very much for watching this video and bye for now <music>